Uh, and how do you feel about the trip? I think it's a very successful trip. I mean, when you think in terms of how we were playing and, and what could have happened, um, I think you have to look at this as a, a turnaround for us, I hope. And uh, I'm very pleased with what I've seen, although, you know, Mason did the job tonight, but uh, you come into this building, it's tough, no matter who you are. Hickstall said yesterday that uh, doesn't want to keep the same plan, doesn't want to trade draft picks, doesn't want to change coaches. In the past, the Flyers might have done things differently. Uh, are you okay with that, this new approach that Hexco has? I'm very much behind what Hexy's doing, and uh, from get-go, from the very first day, I love his plan. I think he's doing a great job for us, and uh, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen in the future. Was it difficult maybe to, to stay on board with that when the last two weeks have gone before today? No, not at all. What not was that at all. time like for you? It, well, it's always frustrating when you're losing, but by the same token, it happens to teams. And, uh, you know, we were hoping for a good trip. We've had a pretty good trip. It could have been better if we hadn't given up that goal with 15 seconds to go. We would have not lost in regulation any of the games. So I'm very proud of this team. When you see this team go 2-0 and against the Kings, do you think that they are still a playoff team? Yeah, I definitely do. Even though... Uh team is buried in the standings right now. You still think they can make it? Oh, of course. It's early. What's this last month been like for you? Well, I mean, it's 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 difficult to lose, but by the same token, uh, I got a lot of confidence in our players. We got a lot of good kids, and we're going to get better and better, I think.